We got some sad news in Clubland. We got some sad news in Clubland. We got some sad news in Clubland. R.I.P. The legendary Berlin club Watergate. Watergate is no more. R.I.P. At the end of the year, it will cease to exist. That amazing building it's in will probably get turned into a crappy co-working space. It will just maybe get torn down and get built into an even bigger glass and steel building with a very derelict and uninspired and devoid of life coffee shop at the bottom and shitty wi-fi and a coffee shop and a co-working space and advertisements of people especially black people with fucking dreadlocks and white people with fucking beads in their hair working on laptops and just devoid any of the love any of the hype around the area of course legendary club that we love and know but unfortunately r.i.p one person that's not going to be upset about watergate closing is my girl natalie peak big up natalie peak big up natalie peak wherever you are i know you are dancing and i know you are wishing watergate rest in piss natalie peak is definitely somebody who has no love lost for the loss of watergate but for club culture around the world it's really a sad thing to be honest even though watergate has kind of fell by the wayside in recent years i kind of felt like watergate was like berlin's fabric or berlin's like oh is this a bad thing to say? What was that club in fucking um in Shoreditch? Under the fucking arches. It's anyway, you know what I mean? It was kind of a com it was it was like let's say fabric. It was, Be it was Berlin's fabric. Obviously had a legendary kind of status, legendary history, but in recent years it's kind of fallen by the wayside. Unfortunately for Watergate, they probably don't have the booking that Fabric has. Fabric is like a shit club, maybe one of the worst clubs in London, legitimately. Um, but it has still a great room too. That room tube is fucking immaculate. And the booking is still out of this world. On most weekends, you can go to Fabric and see some of the best DJs, some of the best live acts. Midweek, you can see some of the best artists performing there. It's still fucking amazing. It's in almost at like the center of London. Good transport connections and shit. Blah, -de blah, blah, blah. But obviously, as an experience, overzealous security guards serving you drinks in plastic cups. And just the overall vibe of it. Everyone in there looking like they're from all over the place. No real door selection. It's fucking garbage. But obviously it's got a lot of history tied to it. So Watergate announced courtesy of the Instagram the following. They said farewell Watergate. 22 years and the end is near. With a heavy heart we've decided to end the club operations at Watergate at the end of the year. And it's not to renew our lease. With the pressure of the rising costs and shifting club culture. This is only sensible and responsible decision. In the coming months until the end of the year. We'll be hosting a series of top tier farewell Watergate events. Um, until the final closure on New Year's Eve. The party is over. Long live the party. To be fair. Oh, and also they've got a massive, um, big up the picture as well. Uh, th this is by, is it Lotta or Lotta the, who's this person? Lotta the boss. I think this picture comes from, there's a book. I need to actually purchase it. Someone made a book of like all the Berlin clubs after they've closed. It's a really cool book. It's like a coffee table book with pictures of cl the clubs after closing time or when they're about to close and shit. It's fucking fantastic. So I'm sure this is where this image comes from. Um, let's actually see the actual article, <coughs> the statement courtesy of Watergate. It says, there are tough times for Berlin clubs. Since COVID, the business hasn't really picked up for many. Whether it's high rents, war, inflation, rising costs, or simply a change in nightlife dynamics of the next club generation and the shift in relevance of the club culture in general, the operation of a venue like Watergate in such prime location with the financial pressure that comes with it, it has increasing, increasingly become a balancing act with the uncertain future. A days, the days when Berlin was flooded with club-loving visitors are over, at least for now, and the scene is fighting for survival. With a heavy heart, we have decided to end our club operations at Watergate. I wonder if a lot of this has to do with the fact how they treated some of the people with the LGBTQ plus scene. I wonder if the gays are the ones that got Watergate shut down, which would be fucking poetic, right? Because I'm sure some of these people at that club probably think they were bigger than that community of people. And for they didn't have to listen to them or they didn't have to fucking listen to their concerns or take some of their feedback on board and they thought they could treat people a certain way they could have bouncers that were fucking cunts they could have dance floors that were just you know not really um quote unquote police properly people weren't looked after blah 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 blah, blah. and now they're paying the price for it because they're making it seem like oh everybody is struggling mm, i don't think that's true yes a lot of clubs have closed but I think the clubs that have closed are probably the ones that probably didn't do good business. 
the ones that probably you know the time had come anyway to a point or maybe the ones that can generally not afford the rent but i think for the long time i don't think watergate rent was ever cheap i think watergate rent especially that location along the fucking river with the views it was always fucking expensive i'd imagine again i don't know nothing about it but i'd imagine this isn't a surprise that the rent is rising, everybody's rent's rising across the board, even the house here in London, even my fucking stupid fucking poxy flat, the rent is fucking rising, but I just think at this point, they can't offset it, you know, there's not enough parties to really offset the cost of the high rent, so they're not one, they don't want to come out of pocket for it, so now they're closing down, so I wonder if the gays and the freaks and the weirdos are the ones that got Watergate shut down, which would be poetic, if that's true, that would be absolutely poetic. It continues. Um, at the end of the year, not to renew our lease from the economic perspective and the honest assessment of the current situation for clubs in Berlin, we believe that this is the only sensible and responsible decision for us. Looking back, we experienced an actively shaped exciting years of the scene, hoping it to put Berlin on the map as one of the top nightlife destinations in the world. Watergate has been the forefront of the international club scene for 22 years, quickly becoming a staple for guests from all over the globe. And this is how we want to step away with grace. In the coming months, until the end of the year, we'll be hosting a series of top tier, top -tier events. No artist will miss the chance to celebrate one last sunshine with the club with us. No collective will skip the opportunity to, for one final gathering and no guests will be denied the last chart. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. But don't you find it coincidental? Although they've had 22 years in the industry, 22 years in the scene, that this year, especially the last couple of years, especially, you know, with what I reported before on my dear friend Natalie Peake and her issues that she's been having with the club, allegedly. She didn't name Watergate, but allegedly we can assume it was Watergate. Isn't it a coincidence that the one time that they stopped kind of servicing their community, they stopped kind of acknowledging the concerns of their community, they stopped trying to put on good events, they stopped trying to be a great club, they went for the cash grab, they treat people like shit. Is it not a coincidence that this is the time that they also have to close? Hmm. It continues. Um, we especially would like to thank our guests who from Berlin and around the world were filling Watergate week after week with their diverse, enthusiastic energy. A <laughs> diverse, enthusiastic energy. You niggas don't like diverse. I've seen what you do with black people at that door. Diverse. Fuck off. <laughs> I've seen what you do. I've been there. I know how I got treated. Come on, man. Diverse, you know. All right, cool. Anyway, it's just a fucking shiny Matrix bar. That's what fucking Watergate was towards the end. It was just a posh version of Matrix Bar. If you know what Matrix Bar is, you know what I want. We're looking forward to the up-and-coming events and our 22nd birthday celebration, which will kick off a series of high-profile Farewell Watergate events, carrying us all throughout the remaining months until the final closing on New Year's Eve, alongside all our friends and residents. We're bowing out. We're doing it with style because, as they say, the party is over. Long live the party. So, they're gone r.i.p again it's a real shame to be honest because watergate as a club legitimately might be one of the most picturesque and iconic clubs to be at especially when the fucking um sun comes up honestly it's fucking incredible like that view to have a club like this go right is fucking sad because it's such a great place especially if you especially for your first time in berlin it's a great place to go and visit just for the first time. I don't think it's necessary to go more than once. But as a first time to go, especially the way it's fucking, you know, designed on the inside with the fucking lights, that iconic setup you recognize from places. I'm sure there's other, I think I saw a club in, in Colombia that has exactly the same sort of setup. So the design of um, Watergate has been copied all around the world. It's in an iconic location, right on the fucking river, overlooking it. You can see the sun coming up as you're clubbing and shit. It's fucking iconic. But unfortunately, the club will be no more. Unfortunately, the club will be no more. And the actual co-founder, Ulrich Wumba Wombacher, Ulrich Wombacher, spoke to RA about it. And I want to quickly see what he said. So, um, what did he say? Um, he said the following. Unfortunately, the realities of inflation, the energy cost, the rising costs in general, and not least the high rent for this beautiful location in the heart of the city um, of the spree caught up with us. We're facing enormous financial pressure, which ultimately led us to the decision not to extend the club's lease. I just think a lot of it has to do with how they treat the folks within the LGBTQ plus Flinter community. I swear to God, I have a feeling they didn't 
they didn't kind of cater to that audience. They didn't try to bring the club into the new fucking world we're in now, where a lot of collectives, especially in London anyway, a lot of collectives, a lot of fucking party promoters are essentially the breathing heart of a lot of the clubs. I think would we'll, we'll allow, we'll, you know, even Fold, if they got rid of Tech Culture, if they got rid of Night Service, all these places, all these fucking promotions and parties, I don't think those clubs would be as popular as they are. So those clubs are the ones, those parties and collectives are the ones that are kind of breathing life into these clubs and keeping them alive. So without those people, these clubs are going to die. And they kind of took them for granted. They told them to fuck off. They didn't take care of them. And now, look what happened. Exactly. Now the tourists are not there as much as before. And now you need those people. They told you to fuck off. And now you got nobody. You only have self to blame. It continues. A club like Watergate is based on the original idea of a club as a defining place for an entire music generation. Now that we see things going in a different direction, it is going to take us... It's, it's, it's going to take time for us to take this last step continuing blindly without sense or reason and risking an uncontrolled financial decline is out of the question for us we choose to step down while we have control and leave the stage with dignity that i definitely agree with i think i agree with that across the board i think even for a raver even for a raver there's always more dignity in leaving the rave before the rave leaves you nobody likes that person who just hangs around out and afters for way too long doesn't get their hints people are opening the blinds they're starting to make breakfast they're reading books and shit and they're not getting the hints of like hey it's time for you to go nobody likes that person same with the club nobody likes fucking old farts and fucking older millennials taking up space and bemoaning how things were let the gen zers have their space let them do their thing let even the alphas have their space and you go and do something else step away with grace and dignity don't let the party leave you you leave the party it continues wargate will sign off with a farewell program running from its birthday um in october until its closure exact date tbc highlights include appearances from charlotte the wit <laughs> look at how they're closing of course they're closing like this of course charlotte the wit sven var richie horton marlon hofstad dj minx and kerry chandler plus renowned parties multi-sex malajunta um club heartbroken new kids on acid and minimal and beloved minimal night affiliate zip and ricardo villalobos that's a good way to close in it a good way to close it the same people who didn't give you much love before are now the ones you say like, uh, whatever founded in october 2022 one backer stefan hack and nicholas egg e e had each stad Watergate is considered one of the Berlin's most iconic nightlife institutions, although the physical space is closed. The label Watergate Records and the wider brand will continue to exist. Watergate announced the following announcement, new, recent news, Club Renate may also shut down. So that's a list of, of parties that are happening here, um, different things happening over the last few months. Obviously, obviously, because I'll be there within the year and stuff, or by the end of the year, I'll definitely go and visit to kind of give it a sign up and shit and get my little selfie in there, you know, for prosperity's sake and for Instagram's sake. You know how it is. You want the likes and shit? Give myself a little selfie in the fucking club before it closes. But again, not too surprised. Um, they didn't really speak to, to or answer to the community. And now, you know, because the tourism has probably dried up, I'd imagine. I think I even see it a bunch um on the fucking Berghain subreddit a lot of people kind of you know basically are happy now that tourists have gone but i think in the previous years it was all year round from the time i've been there i always noticed that especially you know sometimes even during the quieter months there'd be tourists there but i think nowadays tourism is basically spe specific to the summer months which makes sense because berlin during the summer is really nice but apart from that it's kind of like you know whatever it is but i'm assuming if you're a club like watergate you kind of rely on tourism you know what i mean because i don't i don't know i'm not too sure regular berliners are going to watergate every weekend i wouldn't imagine so or maybe you're relying on people from outside of berlin to come and visit but maybe those people aren't coming down either because maybe their places are popping who knows either way it's closed um unfortunately so r.i.p to watergate uh, really really sad to see it go i'm not gonna lie even though um in the last few years it's been a bit of a hellhole and i haven't really enjoyed my time there that i've been there and it's been a, a reminder that shitty clubs do exist in berlin because berlin has this kind of like you know um reputation of being the mecca of techno and the mecca of club culture and everything is perfect but there are some issues there and when you go to a club like watergate you're reminded oh shit this place is like any other place i mean there's shitty people exist everywhere so that's always a reminder let's quickly read through the instagram see some of the comments from people in the industry talking about it um big up Aikerman, big up lily Aikerman, big fan of hers what she's saying here i'm glad i was able to play watergate in 2022 you'll be missed thank you for everything that you have done he she day says so many memories um made a friend for life with you and you should be very proud of the drum and bass kid created love you buddy uh trick from inner version doesn't say anything as per usual he's not a man of many words <laughs> he just does a 
a flower emoji fucking thing there. Multi-sex sad face emoji. Multi-sex are the only party that was somewhat keeping Watergate somewhat relevant and alive. Like, they were the only one, so they're definitely probably gutted, and it kind of matched their whole vibe of, like, sexy fashion, you know, cocaine-filled stuff, so they're probably going to have a hard time doing parties anywhere else, because I think Watergate kind of matched their aesthetic. Uh, Prantle, heart emoji, heart emoji, sorry. Berlin food stories, hearts. Lauer says, being a resident at um, Watergate, releasing on Watergate Records, definitely been some of the highlights of my DJ music career, unaccountable good times and unforgettable good gigs on the water floor, um, seeing the sunrise and the main floor under the LED lights, lots of love. Steve Buck said, it's sad to see another legendary club go. Shout the wit comment says, it'll be hard to let you go. Thank you for everything you've done. You'll be missed. Um, Bushwhacker says, thank you for booking me many years ago. I'm very sad to see that you're closing, but totally respect your decision. Sending big love um, to you and to all the staff partners and party people. You have made a huge impact. Chris Liebling says, let's hard, let's hard party. It's Chris, Le Chris Liebling is always talking shit in it. You know, Chris Liebling, he, Chris Liebling used to be friends with, what's his name? With Ben Clock, right? And didn't he fucking, isn't Chris, no, is it Ben Clock or someone? I've got who the DJ is. Chris Liebling, like, jacked someone's wife. Fucking wild. <laughs> Best friends with a guy. He, he divorces the wife and then he ends up fucking hooking up with her. Madness. Rodrigo, <laughs> Rodriguez Jr. Damn, so many great memories. Panport, so sad. Dubfire says, very sad to hear the news. The highlight of many trips to Berlin have always been an open and closed sets. I've always played there in magical times, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's saying good stuff about them. Any more good stuff here before I end it? Uh, Matthew Johnson says, thank you for everything you gave the community. I look forward to what you have in store in the future and many capacity for new adventures and soon available. Sounds kind of AI written. Um, Lash says, thanks for having me play my first ever set there in the memory I'll never forget. Matthias Meyer says, this memory is heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Uh, what else people are saying here? Uh, Frank from Arm says, Danka for... Ale Tolen something. I don't know what the fuck that means. German is not me. Um, and more people here are saying other stuff too. Rest in power, Watergate. Thank you for everything. Blah, 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 blah. R.I.P. Watergate. R.I.P. Watergate.